The gentleman yields. The gentleman from Oklahoma, Mr. Bershane, is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, so under the Trump administration, uh, build a wall. Common theme, build a wall. Um, illegal immigration was at a 45-year low. Biden takes office. President Biden says, not another foot. We now have historic numbers of illegal immigration occurring at our, at our southern border. It's not a coincidence. Um, the, the thoughts on physical barriers go hand in hand with what we see as the consequence, the fruit of, of the decisions. Are you going to be serious about the rule of law uh, or are you not? We talk about deaths. Um, I think all of us, um, in our humanity, our heart goes out to people that undergo hardship. But where's the hardship coming from? What is causing people to drown as they cross the Rio Grande? It's because of a, a message that says our border is open, increases the number, increases those people that are drowning. We talk about things that are happening. 18 to 45-year-olds Leading cause of death is fentanyl. That's happening now under the not another foot thought. What about human trafficking? What about the 85,000 children that we can't account for in the last two years? Sound of Freedom is a movie that's getting a lot of attention. We know that people, those single adults, are using children and they're sending them back across to bring across another single adult. We don't have any idea how many of these children are being uh, utilized uh, for a, a sex trade. I mean, that's the real tragedy of this, is that we are, by our dereliction of enforcing the rule of law, we're compounding the problems. So, Mr. Tenorio, as the Democrat invited witness to come before us, who is contending, just to make sure I'm understanding this, your contention is because there's people have fallen off the wall and you've, as a doctor, have seen more uh, accidents and incidents, you're contending that that is justification for bringing down the wall. Am I understanding that correctly? Uh, let me clarify that uh, for you, uh, Representative. So I'm here as a neurosurgeon speaking out on my experience as a, uh, as a neurosurgeon at, at a level one trauma center near the border. But I'm, just I've to been. reclaim my time, but your contention is because of the incidents of, of the accidents, the walls should come down. They're causing more injury. Is that, that's your contention, correct? No, yes or no? That is not my contention, no. So you believe we should continue the, the, the wall construction? Uh, you know, I came here. I'm not a border policy expert, and that's outside of my expertise. But I've heard you imply that because of people falling off the wall, we should tear down the wall. I mean, I've heard that implication. Am I wrong in understanding you? I did not make that statement. Is that your thought? As I mentioned, I'm not a border policy I, expert. I think you're... I came here as a neurosurgeon. I understand. I, I, what I've seen at the hospital. I've heard the implication. I think it's pretty clear to those of us that, that you don't support walls because people are falling off walls and they're getting hurt. Here's where I want to go with this. For all of us, just to make a sound judgment call, okay? Mr. Johnson... I read, you know, from 1918, your family's had a ranch. Fourth generation rancher, same situation, except I live in Oklahoma. 1918, my great-grandfather moved in and started a family ranch. I don't have to deal with what you have to deal with. I don't have to go climb in, in the deer woods and worry about if I'm out there deer hunting, if I could, could be the one that could be the prey because somebody that's running a cartel ring could, could shoot me deer hunting on my own place. That's the kind of what I understood from what you described. You deal with that. That's a sad reality. I, I want to go back to this thought, though. I mean, if somebody cuts the fence and is stealing your cattle, I mean, given what you described, they're not having to cut the fence to steal your cattle, and they slice their hand, should you be responsible for their medical bills? No, sir. Okay, so train, train of thought. Airport parking has barriers around it. Somebody climbs over that wall and breaks the law. Be is it my responsibility to be liable because they were, that, that business owner was trying to protect my property? It let, I mean, if somebody's trying to break into my home, should I tear the door down? 
to make it easier for them the next time so they can come inside my, my door because they, we're talking about lawlessness. Our heart goes out to people that are harmed, but we're talking about people who are breaking the law. They, someone said a while ago, well, they're, they're just trying to get freedom and do it legally. Go through a port of entry. There are many people who do that. With that, I yield.